tried to keep these videos down to about three minutes, but they keep getting bigger with Sir Toxalot at the helm. You're going to need some kind of stick, straight edge. Maybe it's the edge of a clipboard. Uh, a ruler would be perfect or something straight to work with. And we're going to work on some three-dimensional pillars that kind of come down into the ground and radiate outward. And we're going to start with a little dot. And once you get that little dot, I want you to make a circle, maybe the size of a quarter or a 50 cent piece around that. And that's just going to be a guideline, so we'll erase that early, later. Uh, outside that, we're going to have these other circles, and they're a little bit smaller, maybe nickel size. And there is one, two, they're kind of equal distance apart. Three, I think I'm going to put about six of these around. And you can see that they're kind of forming a circle around my circle, around my dot. So there they are. They're not perfect circles by any means. And I still see my dot in the middle. I'm now gonna take that handy dandy stick I found and slowly set them on the outermost point of my circle and I'm gonna aim it for that little dot in the middle, okay? Here we go, going into the third dimension. So there it is, pencils on the outer dot. Slide it over till it just, oh, it stopped. Yeah, right there. It stops right on that inner circle. And now I'm back to the, one of those outside circles. I find the outermost part, aim it for the inner dot. Boom, stop when I get to the inner circle. Does that make sense? I don't know if I make sense when I talk sometimes, but try to stick with me. I'm going to give myself a little curve at the bottom. And now it's starting to look like this giant pillar that gets smaller. Outermost part of that circle. Let's bonk your straight edge up next to that. Line it up with that center dot and zowie. There I go. Yep, there I go. Boop. But then don't go too far. Look at that inner little line. That's probably the trickiest line you do today are these little bottom lines that uh, are the bottom of my pillar. I'm going to move on to my next circle. And I go ahead and find that outermost part of that circle. Line it up with your dot. Same thing on the other side. And pa chow pa chow. That tricky line down at the bottom. Yeah, draw that one. Get that eraser working. It's probably not a quality drawing, and we're not working hard enough if we don't have a bunch of eraser crumbles floating around our page. So here we go. I got another one. You can also put your pencil on that inner dot and line it up with the outside. It doesn't really matter which way you go. Um, so we get the same pillars either way. I like to go along as I go and do some erasing. kind of keeps my drawing looking like how I want it. So here I go, I've got another circle from both edges, line them up to that inner circle, get that bottom little half circle drawn on there, clean it up with the eraser, should be doing good. There we go. And last outer circle, still lining up those outer edges to that middle dot, bring them down to the inner circle. and. If we did our job, that inner circle is erased almost entirely. Last thing to do is add a little shading. So I'm pulling out that shading grip, going to it. There I am. Sometimes I might show you things. I'll keep drawing, but then I'll take my third arm and show you the shading grip. And you just keep working. That's an art thing. Here we go. I can also draw some little curvy lines showing that that's a tubular pillar 
See that? Just use a shading grip to curve it around, and those should be kind of parallel with the upper circle diameter. Or I can just shade them like that. Oh, what is that in the middle? Ah, I'm laying in the middle of six tall pillars. Hey, I hope you drew this. Send me a picture to my email and uh, I will put it on the end of this drawing. You'll be famous YouTuber. Take care. Bye.